Hey everybody, Tammy Russell, your Outer Banks Realtor here. And this week, I want to talk to you a little bit about the, basically the lawsuit going on with the National Association of Realtors. And it's very confusing for the general public, I think. And there's a lot of misinformation that's going on out there in social media. And even the news is not really reporting things quite accurately. So the first thing I want to kind of point out to you guys is that North Carolina has had a buyer's agency agreement since 1995. So we've been doing it right the whole time. We've been fully transparent. Whenever a client lists a property with me, it clearly says in the listing agreement what the commission is that they have negotiated with me as their listing agent, whether that be 5%, 6%, 30%, whatever that number is, it clearly states it. Then also inside that listing agreement, it shows how much of that commission I, as the listing agent and my firm, plan on sharing with a buyer's agent. So just to be clear, guys, the seller was never paying a buyer's agent. I was as a listing agent and my firm was. And the reason that we did that is it benefited our sellers. So when we have, let's say, seven or 800 agents here on the Outer Banks looking for a buyer, what that generally is going to do is it's going to increase the demand for your property. It's going to increase the amount of showings that we have and what increases value, supply and demand. So in the end, it always benefited our sellers to share that commission. And that's always our goal is to get our sellers the most amount of money in the least amount of time. Now, I'll give you a great example. I recently had a condo that I listed and if I had not offered a buyer's agent compensation, I actually had a buyer that came to me. They were offering full price for the listing. I was able to handle that. But by offering to share, I had multiple offers on that property and it ended up selling for $20,000 over list price. So again, it greatly benefited my seller to have as many agents as possible working for them. So just something to think about. Um, there's a lot of other aspects to this, but this is just one little snippet of things that you need to consider when you're deciding how you want to list the property and what you're willing to offer in the way of commission. Hope that makes sense. Have a great day and give me a call if you want to discuss this further.